Good afternoon, everybody. I appreciate uh, you, your time here. And uh, I believe that uh, many of you are the expert in sanitation. Today, I'm very glad I can uh, share with you some of the ideas. So far, for many, many years, we have developed. And uh, some of the points we are going to share with you, you might not be very, uh, we call, agree to my point, but I believe that if you, uh, after the talk, you will get benefited if you apply the same practices. Um, and because of the time factor, I'm, I'm not able to explain in very detail. Maybe after the section, if you are interested, you can contact me. You can go to our booth, C134. Then we have further consultation. Well, uh, as you understand that sanitation is a service of sign. And the scope of sanitations are very broad, comprehensive, and also very complicated. So in order to achieve a good sanitation, it's not an easy job. Today, we believe that what we have uh, so far, after so many effort, hard effort, our discovery is sure is beneficial to you. Well, let's go on. Uh, the green way to better sanitation. As you understand that uh, sanitation is an abstract topic. Sometimes they will subject to site conditions, our, the basic requirement that's set by the owner. And we believe that the topics here is of great benefit to everybody. Let's go. Oh. Sorry? Point to the machine. Oh, no. Sorry. No? Well, Isma Group has been in the market for 30 over years. And uh, we have been more than 30 years success in sanitation. And we believe that uh, we can share our experience with you. And what we are providing is green services and low carbon products. Uh, because of time factor, we have to run a bit faster here. Well, is the world sick? Don't you think so? Well, further on, what you see daily, right? Let's see. The hay is in Beijing. We are in KLCC here too. And uh, furthermore, well, is, is it very familiar to you? And some more here due to pests, due to tree cutting. And uh, furthermore, that, uh, and I believe that it is very familiar to everybody. During your day, day life, you will see it. It is your friends for many, many centuries. Well, the, the worst part is we have taken in a lot of residues uh, during your clean your plates. What happened to that? Well, this is a paper cutting from uh, AHU. There is a survey mentioning that the dirtiest table grow, the dirtiest one, even worse than your toilet bowl. Furthermore, well, is it very familiar to everybody? 
some more well insecticide on green apples well apartment overrun by rats everywhere wow well, is it familiar to you in your car every day you are actually taking in a lot of toxin you ask for it right just because you buy it and you do it and some more why I believe this is something that we have to share I think we have to get the answer why what is the main culprit factors that's it ignorance is it happen everywhere I think not only in Malaysia right this picture I think is taken from Europe furthermore waste a lot of waste okay some more abuse well it happened everywhere and the greed you know that uh, everywhere you see all the building all crammed together and even there is a protest not to build but the building is still carry on this is what you are seeing every day and well I believe that I have uh, no good term to uh, to say for the next uh, next uh, next item I put it culture it's our living culture that uh, everybody got a happy got a happy to do in your daily life and what is that and uh, most of the time in, including me sometimes we want to buy the cheapest downtown price the products and uh, the other thing is low-grade detergents just like everybody has uh, I mean you can buy from the supermarket and uh, wrong application because of lack of knowledge and uh, furthermore fake products and uh, poor housekeeping and I believe that everybody everybody is working and uh, because of the rush hour we have neglected a lot of things and the other factors that stubborn problems like bad smell like cockroaches that every day you see but because you think that it is your friend or you think that you cannot solve the problem so they become part of your friends and some more no time no effort because we are living in a comfort zone you don't care you don't concern this is the last one and I believe that it is the most damaging part is because of no concern you are, you may think that there's no other way that to solve this problem whatever products whatever way that you are applying you cannot get the bottom line so you go for the cheapest downtown products maybe a easier way to do it well let's see how what we can do are you interested can we get solve the problem and I believe it's very very uh, important some more what can we do then gentlemen sanitations there are five toxin elements in our living environment and this is the point that we would like to share with you perhaps uh, some of you have noted very clearly and the first one is the air the air okay the second is water the third food and uh, the fourth environment and the last one is your mind how important are these five toxins elements that will affecting your health that will affecting the environment 
They will uh, make your sanit sanitation effort uh, not up to the standard, uh, all because of all these fine toxin elements that you, are, you have to encounter every day. Well, we talk about the air, and I believe that it is familiar to you. I just I have seen some of the slides also. Well, furthermore, water. Well, it is. Is it familiar with you? Some more. Food. The food items here. I would strongly. You have to pay attention to the cleanliness. The cleanliness, and not after washing, you feel clean, or you look. Uh, if you look clean, then it is clean. And well, this happened. All the apple. Okay, I mean the rinsed oil that you are not able to wash away. And about the environment, the indoor environment and the outdoor environment. They're all concerned about your health. And furthermore, uh, we would like to create a certain environment that uh, you see the cat queen can be happily dancing there. OK, I hope you can achieve it if you follow our method. Well, uh, some more, the mind, I believe, this is a bit abstract, but you may agree to that. Look at that. Because of the time factor, because of the rush hour, because of the what, 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 everything, you are encountering so many problems, like bad smell, like VOC in your house, and then after cleaning, you have to clean again, and uh, you, you engage a lot of people to do pest management, to pest control for, for your home, but so happened, there are still many cockroaches, or there are still many greasy things that you're encountering, right? Well, and then some of you may just quarrel just because of that. I ask you to clean, you never clean, right? Sometimes the husband may tell the wife, okay, that's how to solve it. Uh, well, Build a strong cultural environment. I think this is the only solution that we believe we can achieve. If you, what we want, at the end of the day, if you really work accordingly. Some more, nah, this is the latest news. The Indian PM, uh, early of the month, having this, we call clean, Asia campaign. Well, furthermore, where is this? This is the street stripper in Bhutan. It is a news cutting. Well, uh, some people ask the street stripper, why you are working so hard to clean even the use the traditional all the pushers to clean the things? Well, they say, in Bhutan, we are, what we left, we have nothing to left. What we left to us is just the environment. So we have to do our job for future generations. And you have seen this, right? Many years back, this is a new cutting from Star. Something, we, okay. Do something that we, you don't do now. Furthermore, well, sorry, yeah, give Earth a break. Don't you want it? Everybody? Do you like it? I think you can do it, right? Let's go together. Up. How to do it? Oh, the green practices are the only solution that whereby if you want to maintain a stress-free lifestyle, Well, it must be become a culture, the living culture. You have to think green and act green. 
how to do it, you have to do it every day. Not only when you have time, you do it. Not only when you have interest, then before you do it. Whether you have time or no time, you have to do it. If you do it every day, you can achieve a better environment because green culture is equivalent to better environment, always. How to go green every day? Some of you may ask me, it, it is not, not an easy job. I'm so busy, I'm working, I'm studying. How? It must happen in a natural way. Okay? Some more, no waste. No waste. And, we th and the most important is this one, no extra effort. And if you using, uh, if you adopt all these three principles, you may get, you may go green every day, easier. Let's go again. And uh, green sanitation. What does green san sanitation mean to you? Somehow, it must be an eco-friendly way. And green sanitation. Somehow, well. We talk about the building our environment that concerns every one of uh, every one of us here, and uh, housekeeping. Housekeeping, yep. When you apply your detergents or any products, and make sure phosphate free, yeah, good for the environment, and uh, chlorine free and solvent free, we all see less fragrance free. And of course, residue free is the most important. This is a very, very important point that everybody of you, you must pay attention. And uh, well, readily biodegradable. Okay, uh, some more user friendly. And the most important at the end of the day, have a low carbon performance. They will. They, that will be good for, for the earth. And all this, at the end of the day, you will be getting what you want, and you will have a good bottom line. And furthermore, this is only one of the items, they mean housekeeping, that you have to pay good attention, and uh, low carbon living, if you really want it. Huh? And the most important, and. Uh, this concept, we have spent years and years of uh, research, and we are using this one to solve a lot of sanitation problem. And I, I hope that you can share it together with me. And this is a very, very important proactive approach. And this proactive approach will greatly help you to achieve sanitation easily. Well, we talk about PPO, ecological circle. Now, I believe that, have any one of you heard about ecological safety? Uh, this term, I think, will be uh, future terms that everybody will pay attention. And uh, ecological, eno uh, I mean, economy. Okay, let's, what are PPO, PPO e ecological circle? Let's uh, go for it. Okay, is it familiar to you in your living environment, everywhere, F&B, factories? Well, uh, furthermore, what is this? Bacteria. Furthermore, bad smell. What are the relationships among these three items? You have to pay attention to that. Well, okay. When you see a lot of rodents, a lot of cockroaches, that indicate that that places sure you have a lot of bacteria. Oh, sorry. Run. Oh. Okay, furthermore, if you have bacteria, you have bad smell. 
And the relationship of this one, they are interlinked. Look at that. Okay. So you will find out that all this, when you, let's say, if you go to your garbage bin, if it's very smelly, sure, there's a lot of the tears. Sure, you're going to have a lot of pests visiting you. Okay? And uh, we have a slogan, a slogan that uh, if cockroaches not moving out of your home, use Isona products. Lipas da binda gunala Isona. That we are using this concept, we need to do it. And tell me, why? Why? What are the causes of this one? In your kitchen, and I always talk to most of the people, why you find more cockroaches in kitchen rather than in your bedroom? And because of this important oil, the cooking oil, okay? And water, and food, and dust, and air, and all these factors are contributing for all these factors. So you have to take care of all these things, and also the good housekeeping to maintain this. If you can achieve this one, certainly you have a better environment guarantee. Well, furthermore, look at that. If pests, less pests, no bacteria, no bad smell, that means that sanitation up. Do you agree? Every one of you? Well, that you can have a stress-free lifestyle. Okay? Some more, yeah, live the impossible dream. Huh? I hope you can do it. You enjoy life, all right? And uh, furthermore, what are the benefits that, uh, what we have mentioned just now, the benefit everybody are doing for benefit, right? Well, solution treatment value. The most important, you must have the bottom line. Uh, what is the bottom line? Because prevention is better than cure. And if you follow just now our principle, PPO ecological circle, if you can uh, satisfactorily maintain it, you will have this one. There's no cockroaches or less cockroaches in your kitchen guarantee. And some more, easy rinse, residue free. And just now we have mentioned that residue free is very important in our daily life, especially in your food items. Save water and save time, and this is the basic requirement of energy saving. Or else that you have to wash again and again. And some more, low carbon compliance. The benefit is safe energy, less emission. This is the benefit that you can get. Well, continuous low carbon technology, this is our company doing. And uh, I expect that uh, if any one of you have any questions, then we can discuss. Uh, you can contact us. You can contact us at isonaonline.com. And uh, I believe that uh, all our products has got the recognition from this uh, green tag, eco label, and also go through uh, SELIM SGS test, Acumen test. Uh, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is important that we have to work together. Uh, go, go Green has many difficulties. And it's not perfect. But we must work and do it. 
and become a way of lifestyle so that we can preserve our environment. So we have to do it together. All right? Hello, sir. I have a question regarding to Bhutan. As ah. we know, like, to, regarding to Bhutan, which we know, to, according to World Happiness Index 2013, which is, last, which is last year, Bhutan is in the first rank. And we know that Bhutan cleanliness rank in the world is quite high. Is it the clear relation between happiness rank and the clean rate in the world? As we know, just like Japan, one of the cleanliness country among all, but we know that they ha the happiness in that is still low. Can you comment on that? Well, thank you, thank you for your good question. But basically, well, you look at Japan, you look at Bhutan. The most important, I believe, is discipline. They have many good clean practices. They won't simply throw rubbish. They follow the cleanliness standard. And uh, I believe that uh, just because of that, everywhere you go, it is clean. One, it is clean, as I say, one, it is clean, you have less bacteria, you have less bad smell, and you have a better environment. And even the rat also, they may, may be migrating to the jungle and dancing there, they won't disturb you. That's why you see Japan, uh, comparatively, they are clean. And that's why they are less problem. Like, uh, we are doing pest, pest control services. In Japan, uh, it's easier to control. Treatment is easier. But in Malaysia, very difficult. Maybe due to the uh, weather, temperatures, and our site conditions and also the structures and also our culture, the way of doing things. This is what I can uh, get it. Okay?